Let's check out the beetle. I've located the, the beetle. Our people are still on this planet. Ah, oh, very good. I was afraid they might try to fly off. The hatch is wouldn't be the best open idea, though. It's kind of odd. Dragonfly. Sir, can you explain wrong. that? What is it? The hatch is half open. Did they report hydraulics failure? How should I know? You yeah. were the last person in contact with the crew, Doctor. Why are you being mean, right. Novik? Dude, Jesus Christ. Oh, check out the second lander. Climb up in there. Let's go. Alright, uh. I'm inside. And? Gotti isolation. Uh, they couldn't get back if they wanted to. For now, we have to assume that we are <coughs> left with only one lander. Is it that oh bad? yeah, because <laughs> that's destroyed. Lost his buzz. <sighs> Burned panel, blown circuits. I'll send it directly to the camp as soon as we find a suitable landing zone. All right. Continue marching towards camp. We shouldn't be here. We'll manage. We've gotten out of worse than this. Equipment breaks from time to time. That's normal. But I don't like that I'm by myself now. now. I lost. I lost e the the bot. What's bothering you? This lack of communication. It takes too long, especially considering there's a cyberneticist amongst them. Yes. What was it? Me too. What was this way? It showed like two different paths, but they kind of like both came down on the same thing, and that really leads up to nothing. So let's just continue on the way we were going. Run. A little bit, I guess. <clears throat> Go towards the campsite. Dude, this looks so fucking cool. Like, it's so interesting to look at. That's the one thing that I was hoping it, like, it wasn't just going to be a lot of bland dirt. But, like, just looking up at the sky. Like, if you love sci-fi stuff... This is just awesome to look at, and it makes the world feel so large, and it's just incredible, honestly. I love the design of everything. You got the sun, the bright red sun. Damn, you were right, Cobble. It's beautiful here. <laughs> yeah, it is. You're telling me. Alright, uh, is there a certain... I can't really see. Uh... Does it say camps that way? Yeah. So I need to instead of going up towards site one, I need to go towards camp, right? So I'm going this way. Is this gonna update my map in like the I guess current time? Present time for her? Is this is past? Alright, going this way. Well, kind of trash. Stop for a break. How do you know? There's there ciggies. The I found a cigarette bud and a pack. Someone was smoking here. So, <coughs> they didn't give a damn about the regulations. Disrupting the ecosystem. No, that's not the point. I understand you want to minimize the effects of our interference here, Doctor, but the mission's safety is at stake. I don't think I have to explain to you the dangers of igniting a dusty atmosphere. Preserving the integrity of Regis 3's already extinct ecosystem is not a priority in this scenario. What? Actually... That's dumb. I... Regis yeah, I disagree. Extinct or not, we shouldn't act like we own, own the place. place. Yeah, we have to treat it with kindness. A simple soldier, but I believe that if something is already dead, it can't be harmed, let alone killed. Yeah, but you still can't do that. That's quite right. In the biological sense, you never know what you'll face on a mission. But will our knowledge prove sufficient to comprehend what's alien to us, or will we ever begin to understand it? We could all right. you, excuse can my you go this way, sir. Can you please confirm that I'm on the correct route? Yes, I confirm. Where's the... An hour? So, an hour? Jesus. Sounds like quite a far-reaching assumption. Especially Just walking for an hour? Is that all I'm going to do? Huh. 
Jeez Louise, bro. I don't even see the spaceship. I don't even know what it's called now, for whatever reason. I wonder if I end up coming upon the croc and the dog and the needle. Is that what it was? Those three? Okay, it's just wrapped around. Found a convenient passage. Excellent. Please speed ahead. We still have I'm, a long way to go. I'm going as fast as I can. You should save your breath, Astrogator. Uh, turn left? Yeah. I don't know what's off to the right, but I want to go left. Oh, there's the, like, little uh, bush stuff. Black bush, is that what they were calling it? So much of it right here. What is this? Astrogator, I found a peculiar inorganic What is that structure. noise? It looks like some spiky metal growths. Artificial plants? Is spontaneous growth possible with this type of structure? Dude, it's so weird like to look at. It's so dark. When the situation is oh. stabilized, we will take samples. I promise. I'm getting fuzzy. Uh oh. So is it the plants? It's the plants that are messing with us? Oh. Did I just keep going? I guess. I was saying, I stopped moving, so I didn't know. Whoa! Uh-oh. That's not good. That's not good at all. I'm dead. Okay, now we're back in the present. So she remembered going through that the first time. Where am I going? I can't see shit. Okay, so I need to go this way. Dude, it's so freaking dark. At least we're going to go in and readjust the brightness because it's kind of hard to see. What's that? Are you there? Over. Can I hear? No. I guess that's a no. You say there's an opening here, so you would think the signal would be able to pass through, but... I wonder if it's something with the plants that are disrupting the signal. Ooh, okay. There he is. Yes, yes, all good. They're already in the infirmary on lab support. Oh, awesome. Uh. Yes, maybe them. Is she still alive or is she? I wonder if there's a way that she would have been saved. I feel like maybe I could have saved her and I messed something up. And like, I'm kind of going to beat myself up about that now. Whoa. Are you getting a picture of that bot? Yeah. Where am I going? This way? Oh, there's a climbing rope. Use the climb. Gorski was here. His rope is still hanging from the slope. That's a good sign. Since he left it, he intends to come back this way. I guess. Why hasn't he yet? What am I doing? Taking the rope down? No? 
Okay, yeah, there we go. Going down after him. He's being dumb for a second. Tell me one more thing. When it comes to Marit, are you going to use a grave tapper? Who's that? Yes. I am considering that as a possibility. And what is your opinion? Should we look into our brain? The more we know. Whoa! Jesus! One sec. God damn! How about the end of the rope? Isn't that good? No. Not at all. Uh, ground's super far away. I'm stuck. I'm hanging with all my weight on the rope, away from the wall. There's still a fair few meters left to the ground. It says no return. Using just my hands, strapped with all this extra weight. Yeah, you no, break no the chance. rope. What if you sway? Uh. I can just jump off. Is that safe? No. A substantial fall on unsteady ground. This is hardly a maneuver Frickin that I would describe yeah. as safe. So let's take a moment to analyze the situation. I'm thinking, if Gorski went down this way and didn't break anything... Yeah, we don't know that yet, sir. That's true. With injuries, he but... could be dead. Well, I'm not hanging here forever, if we still haven't come up with anything. There is a certain possibility, or rather uncertain, but maybe it's worth trying. Astrogator. I feel like falling as as is not worth it. Analysis, Bro, my I'm voice really is like going. Of course. <clears throat> can you see the probe? Yeah, I can see the probe. It's right in front of me. Yes. It's flying near me. Good. If I instructed it to fly as close as possible to you, you could grab onto it. Yeah, but would it hold me? Are you sure it will <laughs> hold me? That I cannot guarantee. I guess it's worth a shot. Alright, let's give it a try. I feel like maybe that's better than just I'm jumping the all the way down without knowing. And kind of... Uh... Two <coughs> meters forward. Stop, that's enough. You have a really good eye. Exactly. Thanks! Oh my goodness, I'm a genius! <coughs> I really was gonna say one or two, I was like, there's no way it's three. Ooh, ooh. Oh, damn. So. Freaking drone just smacked its face. It was a soft landing, though. <clears throat> Let's continue onward. Into the darkness, into the unknown. Alright, where am I going? Just continuing to follow a random path? Oh, is that the tr that's the drone. We had our last contact with Regis a few minutes after noon. Even then, Dr. Gorski was walking alone. Communications blew up shortly before he got here. This place is amazing. It's all made up of these structures. There's a flag. Except they don't look like creations of nature anymore. Uh, maybe that's why Dr. Gorski, not to mention the Alliance, <laughs> If we're looking for something on this planet, this could be it. This could be what These Gorski was looking for. Entire multi-story complexes. They look like a city. Oops. This is kind of crazy. No, no, there's no point in jumping to conclusions yet. Are you receiving a signal? What signal? From Doctor Gorski. There's a satellite. No, no. Why are you asking? He tried to open up a connection, set up a transmitter. <coughs> it's also a it's flag. Comes, but I'll check the record history. Please give me a moment. Uh, report the flag to. Set up the flags. So he kept going, despite the lack of communication with the rest. You'd have to see it with your own eyes, sir. This place. 
Gorski may have lost himself in his discovery. Are you joking, Doctor? Lost himself? Gorski? He may not have respect for the unknown, but he has his feet firmly on the ground. Should be looking for a way back by now. I think he might have gotten lost in these structures. Okay. That was weird. Just immediately stop talking. <laughs> Go through the gap. Can we squeeze through? Jeez. Christ. It's a tight little tight little window. All works out in the end. Get up there. Holy chasm, dude. Let's continue on in our journey, in our quest. Ooh, balance. Do not fall. All right. It looks like we're going to come out on the other side over here, though, which is good. It's just good. Huh? Baby, lock them doors and turn them lights down low. That's what my voice sounds like right now. Yes, no? Everything's all right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I just need a moment to think. It's a lot happening. Lots to process. I'll report it. No worries, sir. There's Olga. a freaking signal? Is this a gap? Oh. What is that? I don't know where this goes, but... Holy Jesus. <laughs> I guess this is the way I'm supposed to be going. It's the only way that kind of makes sense. doesn't leave me in nothing pretty much I go up this way Doctor, something has been recorded after all Don't what's that plenty of errors in the transmission header let's hear it well, sir, play it maybe we'll finally find out what's going on with the doctor agreed it's worth a shot Gorsky so. to base I repeat this is Gorsky <coughs> yes Gorsky no doubt. It's him. Well, let's keep listening. But as soon as you report anything, Doctor, I'll stop the recording. Abandon things. Got confirmation again. I've made an amazing discovery. Geometric structures? Yeah, which is what we see. Pointed rods and slats. Yeah. He left all of his stuff, though. Together, similar to a giant integrated circuit, a million swarm of tangled cables. Not a trace of electric current, polarity, not even residual magnetism. Maybe once upon a time, centuries ago, petawatts or exawatts of power flowed this way. Yeah, to compare with something, it's it's probably a machine. <laughs> Some kind of information collective structure. Oh, maybe it was some kind of electronic handprints. It makes me there are more traces this time. His hands and foot and a drop detector. Yeah, did I hear you right? Yes, sir, you heard correctly. I'm afraid we must be ready for any eventuality. Yeah, well, he fell. We should assume the worst. I still believe you'll find him, Doctor. Maybe let's go back to the recording. A race of extinct Is it just gonna keep playing the recording? Supposedly, they knew about light astrogation before we invented the wheel. They had to save themselves from the explosion of... I found something. A game. Some equipment. No one of sound mind would decide to go down this way. And yet, Gorski... Decided to. Uh, let's see what else he discovered. The remains of the remains of those ships have been found. Whoa, you just freaking came up through that. I've seen hypothetical schematics. <coughs> I don't know how you did that, robot, but you did. Moving on. Readings. Kind of just moving around everywhere. I don't know really where to go. It's just a humming noise. Any thoughts, So far, it all leads to one conclusion. 
This is not a place for a man. Not no. for any humanoids. Then Something no bigger. Before. Maybe it's really an alien technology. Those Lyrans. Uh, as far as I know, all information about the Lyran civilization is just guesswork. Many <sighs> consider Lyrans to be just a myth, so I wouldn't take it too seriously. Don't think it's a myth. I think there might be something to it. Oh, the, the way, gap. You were right, Doctor. Oh, Finally. signal. I have his position. I was right, I but I don't know about what. Not yet. <laughs> Gorski, are you here? Say, answer it's me. me Yasna. I'm. Still I'm afraid he might be yeah. dead. Oh, his backpack. I found his backpack. You know what that means, sir. He's yes, probably dead. He's without oxygen. We must hurry. He's definitely not alive, right? No way. Oh, his, there he is. His... Uh, got him. Uh, he's not moving. Oh, oh. He's not alive or anything. I mean, he's still breathing Gorski. at least, so. Gorski. Look at me. Look at his vitals. His eyes are closed. Is he breathing? He's alive. Barely. But barely. Hard. I mean, acting anyway. No reaction. <laughs> he seems unconscious. Gorski. Come on. Yeah. Calm down, Doctor. Get him out of there. Gotta figure out how to get him out. Looking for a landing site. Hold him out. Okay. Let me just. Dude, this is tough. I just hope I don't get stuck. Out. <clears throat> Can we close his mask and maybe Done. save him some oxygen? Something. So what does that do? I activated his SOS. You should pick up a transmission with his parameters, sir. You would hope. Well? Did you pick up no, anything? Nothing. Damn. The transmitter in the suit must be too weak. Should I retrieve his booster from the backpack? Is he still good? No. No point. Better to set up a relay. We have to do it anyway so that Hopper can land in this maze. Okay. So what am I doing? Have a preliminary scan of your surroundings. There's an open area nearby. You have to move Gorski there. The probe will guide you. But he's not stable. I must share my oxygen with him, Astrogator. You'd need a spare for that. The protocol doesn't provide for connecting two suits at the same time. In that case, I'll give him my tank. Negative. I won't allow it, Yasna. If you faint, the doctor won't carry you. Ah, but he, I want him to save him. What if I just blew my own eyes? looks intact. What did you say? I didn't hear. Hold on, Gorski. Yeah, I still can't hear, Doctor. Please repeat. It's nothing, Astrogator. Some static on the line. He's going to be pissed if I told him, so. Let's get you out. Try to get you as fast as I can out of there. At least give you a little bit of oxygen. Maybe I can take mine, take it back, you know? Can, does he not see us on the little droid? I shouldn't run. That's for sure. Did I just fuck it? Are you out in the open already? Sort of. Yes. Yes. All right. Can we take the oxygen back? Set up relay. Set it there. <clears throat> I just tried to save a life, honestly. Like, I get that it could risk me dying. There it is. Pulse 
But, I mean, I don't know. I don't want anybody to die else. What was that? I don't know. Shake. It's earthquake. But we just three quake. Oh, that's not good. It's real not good. The worst possible thing that could happen. Because I don't even have my freaking oxygen. Well, this isn't good. Where the fuck that? am I? Isn't that gonna be good? For I anyone? Hey, I, I'm underground. It's hard to determine my exact location. Novik, <laughs> do you copy? This is not in. good. And I don't have oxygen. Damn it. Of course, Anyone, he probably please. would have been dead. Okay. Stay calm. Keep it together. Just keep it together. All right, we gotta get back I'll to the crazy. surface. <clears throat> it looked like my oxygen was fairly good. So I think I should be good to get out, right? Deposit of water, probably unsafe for consumption. I'd rather not risk it. What? Why not? Meteoric waters. Can't see shit. No, too deep. Let's hope it's not fossil. Otherwise, I'll never reach the surface. Bro, I can't see anything. What is this? <sighs> Slippery terrain. Poor visibility. Considering all factors, situation. All right, I should hopeless. go this way. At least I got flat. I was gonna say, oh, use that, on. please. <sighs> Gotta be kidding me. Of course. Of course, the flares aren't working. I guess when in doubt, go towards whatever light might be there. Even if he can't see anything, it's literally just a black screen of death. Like I'm seeing my own reflections just so black. Like what the fuck is this? It's so dark right now. Okay. Give me some light. Oh dear lord, yes. No. Holy shit. No chance. Keep it this. No hope. Narrow passage. I can't. I just. can't. I think you can. Pretty much fucked. No, you're not. You can get out of it. You have to have a. You have to have faith. Yasna, why are you not opening your eye? Yasna? Stranger? Yeah. Who's that? I, I can't see. Crowder. How did he get down? Is that you? She's dreaming it. She's How? losing oxygen, so she's you going Lulu. To Me. What's happening? It's good to see you again, yes. What? Unfortunately, there is no time for pleasantries. <laughs> we need to get out of here. Well, yeah, no shit. <sighs> Easy for you to <clears throat> see. I'm barely standing. 
now I'm stuck. If I come down to you, we'll both be stuck at the bottom. You need to push through. Okay. On, get up. That that's a valid point. I do need to get up. Asshole. Don't look down. Go this way. Towards the narrow passage. Oh dear lord. You're gonna have to go a little bit faster than that, home girl. Like, I understand you're trying to be safe, but, like, listen. <laughs> you definitely could have went a little quicker. Especially considering you have to get oxygen now. You have none. Uh, some light up here. Tiny little hole. I can't see anything. Crowder, say something. Bro, what is happening? I can't stand this dreadful silence. Silence is not necessary. There's water. I like other things. And what should I be afraid of? Dehydration, hypoxia, methane poisoning. The list is quite long. Oh, what were you thinking, really? What do you mean? You against opening your helmets, let alone giving all your oxygen to a dead man. A complete failure of reason in the act of futile heroism. Oh, it's this way. Kowski isn't dead. Not yet. That's why I left him my damn tank. Yeah, it might as well be. Do you really think giving him oxygen was enough? Something attacked you up there. Odds are, it got Gorski as well. We'll check and come back for him. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. His parameters after all. No. Yeah, about that. You shouldn't trust everything the old man says. He only tells us what he sees fit. Huh? What do you mean? What do you mean? It doesn't matter now. Am I going this way? Focus on getting out of this maze. This way, right? Stuff was shaking again. Is your equipment operational? Nothing damaged? I think so. Flares are wet though. Yeah, I can't light a what flare at all. Procedural minimum or more? <coughs> Telemeter? Tracer? Metal detector? A metal detector? Other than the latter, I'd, I'd say the bare minimum. Come on now. Give us proper torches. Tell me about it. Uh, I also wonder that. I figured going up is probably the most correct decision. Can I like look at my arm to make sure I still have enough oxygen, or am I just kind of going off a hope that I have the oxygen? Uh, slow down. I need to rest. Uh, rest is for the dead. I love how I say that. I need rest as I continue to climb up this rock wall. I'm about to adjust my brightness. Hold on. There we go. Now you guys can kind of see. Just enough. Forward, Yasna. Forward. Yasna. We're racing against time. Forward. We're constantly fighting for life, Yasna. But yeah, that's how life is, unfortunately. It's never anymore. easy. I, I don't want to fight. All right, yes. I think you'll be. Oh, shut up, Crowther. <laughs> and here I thought you didn't like silence. Anyway, it's over. You did everything you could. But even that wasn't enough. You have the right to finally give up. No. No, no. Not, not over far. yet. I haven't given up yet. You were saying you were. Yeah. Probably. I just need to catch my breath. Slow your breathing. Mm. One second thought. I imagine there are worse places to die. Jesus Christ. Time, actually. Just close your eyes and let yourself go. Fall asleep. Okay. Oh, I'm getting up. Yeah, I'm not staying down. Turn 
turns out I prefer to live than let you talk me to death. True. I ain't doing all that. I can do it. I won't. Give up. Give up. That's the right attitude. Nice, Yasna. Good going, girl. Thank goodness. Whoa. You kind of scared me a little bit there standing there. All my talking turned out to be quite helpful, huh? Don't push it, Crowder. <laughs> <clears throat> I guess so. Do you see this? A skeleton? Well, if you're talking about the coal deposits and the bones of prehistoric reptiles, then yes. Jesus. Further up as well. What do you think that means? Isn't it obvious? Dinosaurs once lived on Regis 3. Don't mock me, Crowder. Okay. <coughs> Something did. Millions of years ago, this planet had to be teeming with life until something got rid of it. Quite effectively. Even more skeletons. Annoyingly now, there are no comms. Nobody will know of this discovery if we get stuck here. Agreed. Relax. <coughs> the old man must have another explanation. Jesus Christ, I'm truly trying not to clear my throat on mic, but... situation would be better if you didn't stop to admire the fossils. I didn't really stop to admire the fossil. <laughs> Too shame. Or it didn't allow organisms ashore. Perhaps stop them from leaving the water. Dude, you were kind of creepy. How is it you're always a few steps ahead of me? Agreed. Simple. I outpace you because I'm moving my legs, not my mouth. Well, that's not true. You're talking a little bit more than I am, I feel. Come. It's time to be among other people again. They are there, somewhere. I promise. Do you? Do you promise? God, I hope they're there. These dark areas, man. I had to adjust that because... I'm starting to have dark areas. areas. What if something's waiting for me? I don't think something that caused my fall. Uh, it doesn't matter now. Do you stay? Hey, where did you go? He's not here. You knew he wasn't, Yasna. Crowder. Forgive me for my rudeness. Oh damn. Water. And nitrogen. And demons. You have to allow if this is not our farewell. But I should tell you. It was an honor to serve with you. Aw. Something else is smacking around. Well, I saw Novik come up and it said farewell. Yeah, I'm right here. Don't leave me. Sir, I saw Crowter. I'm going crazy, is what I'm saying. I don't quite understand myself. Dude, this is weird looking. Ooh, what the hell? Oh, what the hell is that? I'm still here, but I don't know how long for. Are you in danger? Oh, good. Say that. What uh, is that? The thing burned a hole in front of me. Now it's marching with these kind of crab legs. Damn it. You must evacuate immediately. I'm going as fast as I can. It sounds like you know what it is, sir. Well, I have 
confirm my suspicions. One of the flagship machines of the oh, this way. match the description. Oh. I think it's moving away from me. Who does to say do not cut up? Don't stop yet though. How is it possible that the Alliance machine got here before us? I'd like to know myself. If our intel's incorrect and invincible already landed on me just three, and never you. I can see a passage. But it doesn't look very inviting. Well, of course not. Huh. Oh. Okay. Shit. Still here. I have to. I'm stuck. I can't move. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's coming at me. Bro, what am I supposed to do here? Oh, here's the bot. No, I don't think you are. Come on now. Come on now. You gotta be kidding me right now. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm here. I'm okay. <laughs> Jesus. Though I don't know why. Are you able to go on? I think so. Yes, please. Cursed crap. Uh, uh, oh, the hatch fell down. Probably from the registry. Can you get the record? Let's see. Whoa, whoa, what the hell is going I guess on? This is busted for good. The records. You guessed right, sir. The Alliance is indeed already on the planet. So this is the Alliance. They even managed to set up a fill base. Damn. How could headquarters have got it so wrong? According to intelligence, dude, they're all over the place. I guess we should ask them back home. I feel like somebody's not telling us something. Rovers. Me. Yeah. Wow. It really did almost flatter me. That's crazy. Got a picture of my face. Probe. Of, uh, the probe. It, it distracted the antimats. You say that as if it did it on purpose. What I meant was that <coughs> antimat targeted it, and when it fired, the structures collapsed. That's crazy, bro. One could say so, yes. Where's Olga? Olga? Not much left of it. The probe was broadcasting a while ago, so maybe we could save its core. Hot. Hot. That's true. Maybe it can still be rebuilt. Anyway, you're not entirely alone. I feel like I've I've lost another companion. Yeah. My last one. You still have me. I'm not done here. Alright, there we go. I was about to say the android was kinda of with us for a minute. <clears throat> No, I'm talking about my ass. What do you think I'm talking about, Novik? To win over a person, <coughs> you have to steal their heart. But the key is to get their brain. All right. You know that's just a metaphor. Anatomically incorrect and highly overused. Yes. Metaphor. Uh, not good. You simply don't get a brain. Jesus Christ, dude! They're kind of? ripping through this place, aren't they? Yeah. Wait a minute. Do you have any specific expectations of me? Since I'm nearby their troops. It's hard to call them specific. 
What do you mean? Oh my god. We still have to save Gorski. And I have no oxygen. I, I don't know what your silence means. Uh, I was going to tell you later. What? I'm really sorry. What? <clears throat> you had no plans. No. No, don't finish. That, that's impossible. You did absolutely everything you could. Damn, dude. Sometimes even that's not enough. I did nothing. nothing. Yeah. Just nothing. Basically. Way, how are you feeling? And how am I supposed to feel? I mean the lack of your oxygen tank. So you know. Gorski's oxygen jump didn't come out of nowhere. And your saturation is dropping. So, how are you feeling? I've already experienced what Dr. Crowley referred to as mild cerebral symptoms. <clears throat> They're saying... Participated in them. Yeah. Wait. The storm's getting worse. How? I had a long and tiring conversation with him. Please don't ask for details. I feel like I'm also hallucinating this rain. Because I'm still underground by quite a bit, so... Don't know how all that works. But I... Maybe they're... Tank. Is there nothing I can take from it? There's no one inside either. The equipment looks on damage though. Can I get in there? <coughs> Will this give me some kind of an oxygen? Jesus. But I still have to pop back outside. It's an oxygen take. Got it. What? What are you talking about? I found an oxygen tank. <clears throat> of course. Well, that's a good attitude. This computer's essentially more than even the alliances. That's true. Oxygen levels should be going back up. Hundred percent. Time to hit the road. Can we take that off? That's a big old tank. Oh, start the rover. I tried. <clears throat> Can I shut that? No. How do I start the rover? I had to get in that seat. Okay, listen. Do the thing. Huh? There we go. The engine started. But what are you waiting for? Leave this cursed place. Well, I didn't shut the passenger side door. Do I not shut that? Are you driving? No, not yet. Oh, Jesus. I'm a goddamn oasis of peace. Ha! Huh. And there are exceptions, you know. Such as the windshield shattering at high voltages. Don't That's true. Stress me out at all. Bro, I don't know where the hell I'm going or where I'm driving. But the here we go. Mission on E5. At that time, I was still a coordinator. But the crew was quite similar. Chemist, cyberneticist, a doctor, an engineer, and a physicist. Jesus! I went really fucking downhill there. Woo! Am 
I'm just going this way? I'm not listening to what you're saying, bro. You're saying a lot of words, and I'm not listening to a single one. This way? Okay, nice. Thanks, buddy. Are we going to eventually leave off on the Invincible? That's why it's called that. God, I hope I'm going the right way. Where am I going? Like, where's my, like, point of I'm just leaving the city? Okay, I guess just keep going. I think I go. I'm having trouble finding the right way. You've got to head southwest. How am I supposed to know where southwest is? I don't have a compass, remember? The city attracts lightning, so the fewer flashes on the horizon, the better. <coughs> how far am I from the city's border? Considering how fast you're moving, if you're heading straight to the destination, as long as no structures collapse. You don't know, do you? It's not that simple. There are too many unknown variables. I don't know where the heck I'm at. I'm riding into a cave. The storm has subsided. Okay, so I guess I'm going the right way, because... I exited, I'm leaving out of a cave, so. Dude, that was chaotic as heck. I found a place to hide. A Faraday cage? Uh, that's not it. I left the structures behind. It's an ordinary rock formation. Even better. You have to catch a breath eventually. Am I supposed to turn the car off? No, it's already off. Of the rover? Of the rover? I've got an idea, but it depends on the model. Where would the model number be? Uh, Emmett 2001. Well, could that be it? Uh, let me see. I doubt it, but... Bingo. Okay. Emmets are equipped with a black box. Please find it. Yeah. I have the box. That means you're recording. Up. Really? Must have changed the equipment because I have no information about a key. Where did you even get a catalog of their gear from, sir? I feel like he was part of anyway, the alliance at one point. What should I do? One second. That or he's working with the alliance. Don't, don't know if this can help, but the alliance labels black boxes as data loggers. You recap. Cable access. Look for something resembling a socket, a plug. <clears throat> I think I've found it. Like that. Then you can connect to the probe's brain there. Okay. So where do I unplug? Oh. That won't work. These inputs are not compatible with Commonwealth plugs. From the outside, our equipment is different, but inside we have the same guts, so to speak. The cable on the back of the box should already fit. Okay. Same guts, hey? Just like with humans. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so what am I doing? I don't understand. Oh, okay. Okay, it's in. Just a moment. Well done, Doctor. I'm receiving a signal. So, what now? You can finally rest. It'll take me a while to dig through all the records. Okay. The rover was connected to a base. The one from the slides? Most probably. Uh, can we turn it on? No one is transmitting from the base. On the other channels, all I hear is static. Yeah, the storm has been causing interference. Of course, sure. I'd suggest you lie down. Get some sleep. The storm's raging. 
best to sleep through the night. Yeah, I'll do what I can. <laughs> Seems like impossible to try to fall asleep during all this, but. I love that it really wanted me to spark a conversation. I just said, I don't want to do that. I'll go to sleep. Thanks so much. What time is it? Oh, wait. Astrogator, can you explain to me what I'm hearing right now? This is a recording from the rover. The Alliance has apparently broken the encryption of our radio channel. Oh, Bollocks. that's great. So, so what do we do? We need to change the frequency and encryption key. What's the point? As soon as you give me a new channel, they will overhear us and change it as well. But... Just look at the probe's brain. Olga? What's with... All you have to okay. do is watch it closely. I'm switching now. Waiting for you to join. Oh, I see. Oh, dear Lord. The new frequency is... Three. Right? I'm not an idiot. Okay, the channel is active. Now the encryption key. The first three digits of the cipher are... Three. Two. Five? One, two, three, four, five, six. Right? Or seven? Three, two, seven? Oh, yeah, no, there is seven of those. The next is. Two. One. Four. Okay, so. And then. Is there another yes, one? Sir. Ah, yes. Well done. That should buy us some time. So, how should we continue? Uh, don't you need more time to rest? I do. But, but there's no way yeah, I'm there's to sleep no now. Besides, chance. nothing's stopping me anymore. The storm has subsided. All right. I feel like even though the Groski died, I still at least tried, you know. I took the liberty of looking through the photos of the nearby area. Everything north and east of your location looks relatively safe. So? Should I go back to the ship? That's an odd question. Of course you should come back. Now even more than ever. <coughs> okay, jeez. Don't be an asshole. Uh, no need to be. I'm fine. <laughs> Turn her on! Felt like I was going off the edge of a mountain cliff, but it's fine. Astrogator, I think I've gone far enough. There is a vast open area. The city is no longer visible. We need to decide what to do next. Dragonfly, over. Are you there? Yes, yes, please excuse me. Do I get to just drive around in the rover the from clear? this point? Yep. I'm looking at the satellite images. Have you examined Merritt's body yet? I wired her brain to a grape tapper, if that's what you're asking. Yes, that's what I meant. Have you watched the memory recording? Yes, but I didn't say anything. Dude, this because looks amazing. To put it mildly, a lot of black dots. The graininess of the image is extremely bad. Like, holy crap, that's fucking beautiful. Say AZ twenty five zero four. Please check if it's fixed Okay. Oh. I gotta get back out. Get back out. I wasn't supposed to get in. Use my thingy. Opening flat terrain. Excellent. Please go there while I prepare the lander. I'll just pack Artie inside. Okay. So that's how it's going to end. Half our crew is dead, and I'm running with my tail between my legs. Not all missions are successful, Doctor. At this stage, we have to save whatever we can. 
I guess that's fair. You, you understand that, don't you? <clears throat> yes, sir. Are you sure that's all we can do? Could don't you even think about it? About what? You didn't let me finish, sir. But I know what might be on your mind. Going back for Gorski's body, contacting the Alliance, or continuing yeah. the search on your own. These are not possibilities. They're certain death. Please remember, we have just one Lambda left. As a commander, I must first ensure your safe return. Only then I'll send Artie with oh. the tasks. So I can choose... What's the right choice? I want to go this way. Agreed. I feel I had need questions answered. Uh, I have several hours of travel ahead of me. You can still turn back. No. And if you try to convince me otherwise, I'll just turn the radio off. Fine. I'll stop insisting. <coughs> Please just understand the position you put me in. As a commander, now I have to decide whether to risk detection by the Alliance. I totally understand. I can't wait a few more hours. <coughs> I still want to be here to help you. Please don't turn off your radio. I'm yeah, I won't. I feel like home dog be a little sneaky. Oh, okay. Sometime later. Yes, sir. Yes? I understand that no matter what I say, it won't change your mind. Yeah. Please be careful. Just observe them from a distance. And only then take action. Cautious, like always. Just because I'm acting against your orders doesn't mean I intend to be foolish, sir. It's true. In its own way, that even in an act of insubordination, you want to remain professional. I'll let you know when you cross their perimeter. Once you've crossed, hide the rover. Behind a bend, run for a ledge. Telemetry observation will be vital. Once we we'll know the camp's weaponry situation, we'll decide what to do. Hey, what was that? I've set up a warning signal. Oh. Near enough that they can see the rover. Huh. Not the best place to stop. What do you mean? It's where you told me to hide. Okay. The rover's hidden. Jeez. To find a convenient hideout for yourself from where you can see their base. Some object is flying over their base. Can you tell me more? It's bullshit. It's a field base, multi module, for about several dozen people. Jeez. Rather well equipped. Huh. There's lots of transporters here. <coughs> I'm not surprised. Missions with a large crew, transport modules are an integral part of the field camp. Uh, uh, me, fair. How many crew members were they supposed to send on the Invincible? Over a hundred. Jesus. They have a second antimat. As if the first one wasn't enough. Is it active? Uh, probably no. not. Doesn't look like it. Proton alone knows. What about people? Can you see anyone? Not yet. Maybe they're hiding in modules. Most of them for sure, but I'd be so I see someone. Just one? Yeah, he's no, moving yes. a box. Is that all? I think so. What does that? Please keep going. We can assume that their equipment has already detected your presence. Or it will soon enough. There's no point in further postponing the inevitable. Still, I'm glad that I stopped. I feel better knowing that there's no heavily armed military waiting for me there. Yeah. Me too, Doctor. Me too. Am I just supposed to like run? Am I just running? Or am I supposed to get back in the car in the rover? I don't know. 